So for today's vlog, we will talk about the peripheral nervous system or the PNS and we will talk about the structures and the major divisions of the PNS. So what is peripheral nervous system? It refers to the parts of the nervous system outside the brain and the spinal cord. In a human body, there are 31 pairs of nerves branching from the spinal nerve and 12 pairs that emerge from the brain. And these 43 nerve pairs are considered separate from the brain and the spinal cord. Therefore, they form the basis of the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system made up of two types of neurons. The first one is sensory neurons or the afferent neurons. The second one is the motor neurons or the efferent neurons. Sensory neurons detect various sensations such as heat and pain. These neurons transit messages towards the CNS to be interpreted by either the spinal cord or the brain. And motor neurons do the opposite. They transit messages away from the CNS. This stimulates effectors such as skin, sense organ, muscle to perform a function or reflex. Know that all 43 pairs of nerves of the PNS perform the sensory, motor, or mixed function. The peripheral nervous system also has two separate divisions based on involuntary and voluntary responses. Voluntary responses are consciously controlled, while involuntary responses are unconsciously controlled. The somatic nervous system is the PNS division that controls the voluntary responses. It is also responsible for relaying sensory and motor information between the outside environment and the CNS. Most somatic nerves innervate the outer section of the body such as skin and skeletal muscles. And any muscle movement or voluntary motor output uses the somatic nervous system. Somatic nervous system consists of three parts. And the first one is spinal nerve. Spinal nerve that carry motor commands and sensory information to the spinal cord. Second one is cranial nerves that carry information in and out of the brain stem. And lastly, the association nerve that integrate the sensory input and the motor output. And the autonomic nervous system is the PNS division that handles the involuntary movement in the body. It generally innervates our internal organs and it controls the vital functions that keep us alive. Most importantly, it controls our heart rate, it controls our respiration and breathing, and it controls our digestion. Lastly, there are two divisions of autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Each of these subdivisions perform opposite function to maintain internal balance. The sympathetic nervous system is called fight or flight response system that causes general alertness and excitement. It is the body's way of responding to a perceived threat and the parasympathetic is the opposite. It's the body's rest and digestion response system. Generally restores the body to a calm and restful state. And that's all for today. Bye!